We have a special guest today in the Sinclair Reloading Room. Our good friend Ken Harrington is here, better known around the shooting industry as the Hawkeye Guy from Gradient Lens Manufacturing. Many of our customers are familiar with Gradient Lens and their signature Hawkeye Borescope products. We've distributed these fine optical instruments since they were first introduced in the shooting market in 1996. Ken, for our customers that aren't familiar, can you explain to us what a borescope is? Sure thing, Jeff. This is the Hawkeye Rigid Borescope. Uh, it is made of <coughs> glass optics down the center, fiber optics also uh, surrounding that, light source, and then a mirror tube that when you're looking inside of the bore, you're actually able to see 360 degrees uh, where, where you are. And the eyepiece back here allows you to focus it to uh, uh, whether or not you're using eyeglasses. What type of customers are most likely to use a borescope? Well, that's a good question, uh, Jeff. It started out that the gunsmiths were the ones that uh, really went nuts over it. And then the, um, the bench rest boys and the, the varmint hunters uh, picked it up. And then, because they were sending a lot of firearms back, the manufacturers, to kind of defend themselves, figured they better to get uh, borescopes as well. So the, the manufacturers, also the, uh, the right, the barrel manufacturers, in addition to forensics um, and, and also the military are the ones that uh, use it. So what all can we see inside of a bore? Well, yet another uh, uh, good question. We um, uh, have some examples right here. The first is um, uh, twist. You can see whether it's left twist or right twist. You can count the uh, number of lands. Uh, then uh, here's copper. Copper is the most common thing uh, that you see uh, in addition to uh, carbon inside of a, a barrel. Then uh, the next would be rust. This rifle was uh, left out in a barn for a couple of years and it is in bad shape. Next is pitting. Pitting uh, picks up a lot of fouling, so that's uh, a very bad situation as well. And then uh, alligator cracking. This is the result of hot loads and you would see this condition uh, just forward of the lead. This is a muzzle loader, uh, as just of, of general interest, what uh, they look like uh, 150 years ago. And then uh, wow, finally, bad. <laughs> finally, uh, this one, I understand this uh, uh, rifle was fired 250,000 times. It has a whole bunch of problems, and uh, we uh, would describe that as whooped. Then um, this is a cartridge case. You can use the borescope to look inside the cartridge case to find incipient shell separation. Those are some great images, Ken. So what's the latest from Gradient Lens now? Aha! Well, we've taken the Hawkeye borescope with its wonderful optics and images, with the mirror tube, with a light source, and we've now added video to the, the, the tail end. And with this in place, you can either send the signal to a monitor like this, or you can go to a, uh, uh, a, a laptop uh, computer. So just say that you had a gunsmith in uh, Pella, Iowa, who had a, a rifle barrel from the, um, uh, a customer in New Jersey, and he, the guy in New Jersey doesn't want to spend the money for a new barrel. Well, gunsmith sends him the image of what his barrel actually looks like, and there's, there's no more argument. Amazing how far technology's come. Yeah, it, it uh, certainly is. Do you have any demonstrations of some images for us? Yes, we do. Let's take a look at them now. Uh, now, this is with the uh, mirror tube taken off. Now you're going to see copper, and that's going to be with the uh, mirror tube on. Once again, this is going into uh, the firearm with the mirror tube off. Here it is on. This barrel is an AR-15. It had uh, lots and lots of rounds through it. Um, again, zero. You can see uh, some uh, copper on the side, and we're about to see heat cracking, which is uh, very uh, serious, uh, right there at the lead. Uh, next, this one, um, uh, again, has had lots and lots of rounds through it. And this is zero degrees. Now we're going 90 degrees where you can see uh, 360 degrees inside that bore. And finally, this is a really fine match barrel. 
uh, going zero degrees in. Now we're going to see 90 degrees. Uh, if you can't shoot with this one, it's not the barrel's fault. Incredible imagery, Ken. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. Yep. And to best identify your fouling problems, barrel erosion, or to check the quality of your cleaning technique, we prefer to use the Hawkeye Borescope. Our technical staff here at Sinclair has really gotten a lot of mileage from their Borescope over the past 10 years. Ken, pleasure seeing you.